What's the craziest thing you've ever done for love? Exist. You think you're funny, right? Calling me drunk. Hey y'all, it's Conan Gray, and this is On the Record. Uh, so this is for my song Checkmate. Um, name three songs on your breakup playlist. Checkmate by Conan Gray is definitely on my breakup playlist because I wrote it about my breakup. Fun. Um, what else? Maybe uh, Lover You Should Have Come Over by Jeff Buckley, Love of My Life. Someone Like You by Adele, like will always, always be the ultimate breakup song. I don't care who you are. I don't care how cool you think you are. Like, I don't care if you listen to Bon Iver. Like, Someone Like You by Adele is undeniably one of the best songs ever made of all time. And it's like the breakup song. This is from my song Crush Culture. What's one thing you'd change about dating culture? Like, I don't give a who you are. I don't really want to see you with your tongue down someone else's throat. Like, I don't really want to see that. Like, I didn't ask. You can do that anytime you want, just not in front of me. Like, do that somewhere else. Um, I saw, this is from my song Maniac. What's the craziest thing you've ever done for love? Exist. I hate existing. I wish I didn't exist, but I exist every day because allegedly, allegedly there's somebody on earth who's perfect for me. Sure, I don't believe any of that. That's, maybe there's nobody. Have we ever considered that? Maybe you don't have a soulmate. Maybe you're just destined to be alone forever. Uh, this is for my song, The Story. How do you think your fans describe you? Um, I think they would describe me as a massive overthinker. Um, and that I am very strange and I should try, I should try calming down. Um, this is the last one. This is from my song, Comfort Crowd. Who are three celebs you'd want in your clip? Uh, very obviously Taylor Swift, I mean, it's Taylor Swift. Do I even have to explain? Um, then probably, Lord, my favorite person of all time. I'd probably just sit there and ask her a lot of questions about life. Just like, not even about her songs, just like, what do I do now, Lord? Where do I go? Are you okay? Where are you? Come back. Also, wh why and how? You know, just questions about life. And she'd have answers. Why do we exist? She'd have an answer. Last person in my clique is my best friend, Ashley. She's not a celebrity, but she's a celebrity in my eyes. Thank you very much. That's that on that. Hey y'all, it's Conan Gray, and I'm about to be in it for a minute. All right, we got a minute on the clock. Here we go, three, two, one. Do you talk to yourself when no one's around? Absolutely, literally all the time, it's disgusting. Do you have any tattoos? None. Um, have you ever cleared your internet search history? Every day. I'm afraid I, that I'm being stalked, because we all are. Um, have you ever cried in the last week? I cry like two times a year, to be honest. I have no emotions. Um, <laughs> have you ever taken the blame for something so that someone else wouldn't get in trouble? Totally. I've covered my sister's ass so many times and she owes me money. Um, <laughs> have you ever eaten food that fell on the floor? Yesterday, I like ate a Cheeto. <laughs> Do you check to see who views your Instagram story? If I'm waiting for someone to watch my Instagram story, a very specific person that I'm in love with, absolutely. <laughs> are aliens real? Yes, and we are them. Uh, <laughs> have you ever accidentally texted the wrong person? Totally. Let's forget that. Do you ever wish you could steal another singer's song every single day? Style by Taylor Swift. Do you keep a journal? Oh, also ribs by Lord. Um, do, you keep, do you keep a journal slash diary? No, I just write songs. Have you ever seen a ghost? Yes. I wish I was a ghost. I did a lot. Hey y'all, it's Conan Gray, and I'm going to transform this hoodie into a one-of-a-kind piece of merchandise. I don't know why I sound old English. This is how it's become. I just have like too many thoughts in my head all of the time. It's just like, screaming. My head is always screaming at me. And so, um, you know, anything that kind of distracts me from the fact that there's just so much going on inside my head really is just great for my mental health. Um, also, I just, I was always like moving around. I always had a, a bunch of just like, I never had a stable life. So art was a way for me to have something that I could like control in my life that wasn't constantly changing and threatening to kill me.
I literally drew all of the time. Um, and I think I realized that people liked my art once, um, once my friends started like asking me to draw things for them. I was like, oh, you like this? You like what I drew? So yeah, that's kind of when I realized that like, maybe I'm a little better than my friends, but because they wouldn't be asking me to be making them something if they could just do it themselves. <laughs> I still draw a lot kind of for my job, which is really great because I love drawing. I still draw all of my own merch, <laughs> well, most of it, and I still, um, I still draw all the time for like, if I need to do a music video or something, I have to like draw out the scene by scenes. I direct my own videos a lot of times and I always come up with the ideas myself. And um, I just like to make stuff. I get really bored really easily too. So if I'm not constantly doing something, then like it's, it's a disaster, you know, everyone's annoyed with me. So um, it's just good to keep me busy. Otherwise I'll drive you insane. When I wanna get something off my chest, I write a song about it. If I want to get like a concept that I've had for a really long time into into existence, then I'll usually like draw it or or make something else. It it honestly just kind of depends on like the the situation. If I'm feeling what I what I feel like, I, I like to do all the things. Otherwise, I get bored. I totally use clothing as a form of self-expression. I dress the way that I feel in the moment. So some days I dress really really um, really like punk and uh, kind of grungy, which I really like to do. But other days I'll, I'll um, dress super, I, I'm trying to multitask right now and this is where I'm failing. But other days I dress very, um, very baby because I am baby sometimes as well. Since it depends on the mood, I do think I use it very much as a form of self-expression and as a way for me to kind of express how I'm feeling. Okay, I'm done. Ta-da! It's an eyeball. Um, so this is how I feel when I haven't slept a good night of sleep in a very long time. I feel like there's just a very dark, deep abyss of death rings in my eyeballs. I've been on tour for a long time, the whole entire year, basically. I'm on tour right now, and sometimes I wake up and I feel like this. I would wear it. I don't think I'd make something that I wouldn't wear. I'm too um, self-conscious. To whoever owns this, um, maybe don't wear it to work. People ask you questions. Um, I think this is a, a loungewear item, so maybe wear it on the couch. Um, also, get some sleep. You don't want to be like this.